this is what I was talking about my spring knuckle. I, I can't get a perfect angle, but yeah, y'all can see that one. Y'all can see that one right there, that spring knuckle. What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Now, this video we're gonna go ahead and try to replace my missing front spring knuckle, you feel me? So, I, I don't know when it fell off, how it fell off, what, or if it was just missing one, we never put two of them on this side, but my passenger side has two spring knuckles to basically try to spread the spring out a little more, give it a little bit of a lift on the front end, but my driver's side i realized when we was changed when i took off my wheel or is it my driver's side i forgot which side but we gonna figure out which side it is though but i know one side has two and the other side just has one i think it is my driver's side it was when we was replacing the when we was fixing the halo lights that's what it is when we was fixing our halo lights on this caprice i realized one of them sides i think it's the driver's side was missing a spring knuckle so that's what we're gonna go ahead and change. I did this off camera because it ain't no really a video for me to do. But as y'all can see, I got a new switch here. It ain't no way for y'all to tell that it works or not because I undid my I undid my um, windshield wiper motor, which I got out of a OBS truck. So the reason why I undid it was because I thought that was draining my battery. So I thought that that the window the windshield wiper motor was draining my battery but the whole time it was the alternator so i've been needing i've been needing a new alternator when i dropped this car off when i did drop it off and i had picked it back up and y'all seen me pick it back up in the video a long time ago a couple months ago he was supposed to do the alternator but he didn't so i just went ahead and picked up the car like i did my cutlass just went ahead and picked it up because ain't no reason for me to just keep leaving it there and the car still ain't getting finished the way the way you said it was you was gonna have it done so yeah i just went ahead and picked it up got the cutlass back and the caprice i went ahead and picked it up to the end back then that was what seven eight months ago now six seven eight months ago somewhere around there it was it was in winter so yeah i, I just went ahead and picked this up too because ain't no need to just this just sitting there so this video like i said i went to my pop shop and i was searching this this was the only extension i found i could find so we're just gonna use this one and then this the knuckle we're gonna be putting on there and i gotta go buy one more knuckle but they don't sell them in ones they sell them in four packs that down here they do i don't know if they anywhere else they sell them in singles but they sell them in four packs so i gotta go buy another pack for my cutlass because we're supposed to be getting the wheels this coming up week so yep hopefully we can finally get our tires for the 26s and we can throw the 26s on to this car but yeah it's gonna be like that and then you twist it on so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video it shouldn't take us too too long the only long part i think is gonna be when we gotta take it off the wheel and then put the wheel back on it's the only really long part everything else is literally simple i might struggle a little bit because when we was putting when me and my dad was putting them on the first time when i first got this car and we seen that this car had front spring knuckles and then on the rear had an air shop the people that put the um, spring knuckles in the front did not put them on right. So we had to take them off and put them on right. And I struggled putting them on, so my dad had to do it. So like I said, hopefully I can get it because I'm by myself right now. But, man, other than that, man, make sure y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification button all the way. Y'all be notified every time I drop. Like I said, man, please, y'all hit that like button, man. It really do help my channel get pushed more. The more likes and views we get. The more the channel get pushed and the more the channel get pushed the more i can start doing for y'all you feel me i can start doing some type of giveaways um posting more videos like going daily and we can start doing more to the cars but as of right now i am monetized on youtube but i'm not making nothing i haven't made a dollar a penny i haven't made nothing from youtube so yeah as, as of right now everything i've been doing to the cars and everything i'm still doing is money out of my pocket that i'm making on my own and i'm not working which is kind of my fault but then again i have been focusing on school and this so i was i was like it's really i really don't have too much time to 
work because I know when I before I took this gap year when I was in school I was doing school work every day literally every day and sometimes it take me a couple hours sometimes it just take me a couple minutes but yeah that I, I would just I think I think I would struggle I'm not everybody ain't the same but I think I would struggle having a job having to get up and go and work eight nine ten hour shifts and then having to come right home and try to do my school work before it's due so that's just me I'm, everybody's not the same so yeah that's like I said it's just me but I'll, I'll always try to do my school work ahead that way it'll be done and I have some free time but yeah I, I make some type of money I don't make a whole lot of money but the money I do make I throw it right into the car so yep but other than that man like I said hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell at all when I get outside and I get the car jacked up and I get the wheel somewhat off, I'm going to turn the camera back on. But, yep, we finally found the an extension. It ain't the best extension. It's one of them that's going to keep moving, but it'll be all right. It's an, an extension. And then you put it in the back of there, and then you just line this up with the spring and twist it. So, that's so what we're going to get ready to do. Like I said, i catch y'all once I get the wheel off or somewhat off of the car. And y'all hit that like button for me, man. All right, y'all, so really quickly, I wanted to show y'all, before I finish taking this wheel off, I wanted to show y'all my spring knuckle, so I was wrong. The spring knuckle that's missing is on the passenger side, but this is what I was talking about, my spring knuckle. If I, I can't get a perfect angle, but yeah, y'all can see that one. Y'all can see that one right there, that spring knuckle. And then the other one is right here, up under it. So, that's what I was talking about with my spring knuckles. And then if we move over here. Y'all can see it like right, right there. And it's just one, so. I want to go ahead and just make it even. And we're going to go ahead and finish taking this wheel off. And we're going to try and get the spring knuckle done. Let me move y'all over here. Yeah. That way I can see y'all. And y'all can see me. Or part of me anyways. Alright, last one. Now I might have to turn my wheel just a little bit. But let me sit this wheel up under the car. I need to invest in some jack stands for real. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna I'm turn the wheel. That way I have easier access to the spring. But yeah, there's one right here. Let me see if I bring y'all closer. Yeah, there you go. That's the one and we're missing the second one so i want to put the second one like somewhere up here in the front at this bottom part so i need to go ahead and turn turn this rotor or turn the axle really so i need to turn this wheel so it'll be turned and i want to do an undercoating under here too a black spray some black spray paint or something you feel me to make this look a little better brake pads are still looking brand new Still a whole lot padding on there, even though it's like rusty. But I've been driving this car a lot. I need to start driving it even more, but I just didn't want to put too, too many miles on it. Cause I don't know how many miles is already on this motor that they put in this car. So, and I'm leaking, it look like oil. Don't know why. I haven't driven this car in a week, but I do be driving it. I love driving this car, this car, and it got like a takeoff. Like if you press the gas, it'll take off, but it's not fast. You hear me? If if y'all understand what I'm saying, we still need to get this fender cut. Uh, I'm procrastinating because I don't want to do this spring knuckle, but I need to do it so the car be even instead of leaning. Hmm. But yeah, like I said, I want to do a, a black spray paint undercoating under here, so it don't keep looking rusty. Look at this rust spot. Yeah, I need, I need to, I should have replaced these fender, the fender wheel wells, but I didn't feel like doing all of it, and I don't have them anymore, they're gone, 
but it'd be all right. Like I said, I, I want to spray up under here though. It's one thing I do need to do is spray a black undercoat under here. But yeah, let me go ahead and try to turn this wheel and I'm gonna come back to y'all. Hopefully I don't knock this off the jack, but we got the wheel right there so to catch it. Yeah, let me go ahead and do this. And like I said, I need to invest in some jack stands, but y'all hit that like button for me while I'm getting ready to do this. And I'll come back to y'all in one second. All right, y'all, so I turned the, turned the axle. So the car be turned now. We have more access room. So I think I'm gonna put it between, I don't know if yeah, between them two right there. Since the other one is on this spring, I wanna put it right between them so to push it up a little more. So let's go ahead and try and get to work. Try to see if I can get y'all like a good angle to where I'm not fully in the way and y'all can still see. But the way you do it, you have it like this and then you turn, you put the knuckle in here. So, and then you just, just turn it. Try and turn it in there. So, so all we finna do. Luckily I did get this one cause it's like a maneuver. Try and see what I can get. Make sure y'all can see somewhat. I need to take my thumbnail picture first. completely forgot all right all right now let's get back to work completely forgot about my thumbnail I almost got it. Got it. Come on, get out. Yes. Just like it. Just like it, y'all. So that's literally it. That's all you do. You just twist it. Literally. They ain't going nowhere. Gave it a little more extra space, probably like a half an inch, inch somewhere around there. Maybe I don't. I really don't know. I'm just guessing. Just for real. But man, y'all hit that like button for me, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what y'all think about the screen knuckle. Now, hopefully the car should be even now, all the way. Now I'm gonna keep this. I'm not gonna return this to my pops because we still need to put the front spring knuckles onto the cutlass and the back. I'm just gonna leave stock and hopefully the wheels will fit on but yep got the knuckle on just like that that's all you do is twist it and it ain't going nowhere it shouldn't hopefully <laughs> but yeah like i said it's on there right because i twisted it right and i felt it twisting and i seen it twisting and all that stuff and i'm thinking about painting my rotors too but i don't i, I mean not my rotors my calipers but i don't know what color i want to do them y'all let me know what color y'all think i should do them I was thinking red, but that'd be weird. Uh, full blue car or North Carolina blue with red. So I, then I was thinking black. You know, I was like, black won't won't look good if I do black undercoat. And that's a whole lot of black. So I, I really don't know. But yep, we got the knuckle on just that quick, that easy. All right, so I knew it wasn't gonna be long. I knew this was gonna be pretty quick. It's probably like a 10 minute video maybe. But yep, we got that on. So. Now I could turn the wheel back straight and I could put the wheel back on with lower it down, see how it's looking. Like I said, hopefully the car is not, cause it was leaning like, th not that much, but it was leaning like, if I hold y'all like that, y'all see straight, the car is leaning like that, a, just a little bit, like a hair. But I can tell and it's, it was obvious that it was leaning. So I needed, put y'all up here. So yeah, like I said, the car was, it was, 
tilt it just a little bit on the passenger side. And the passenger, like this hand is the passenger side. And the car was leaning down just a little bit. And you could tell it was obvious. But I didn't feel it when I would drive. You feel me? When I would drive the car, I did not feel it. But not that, that's what I think it was. It was missing the spring knuckle. But now we got that on. Both of them are good and tight. Lifted it, spread the spring out a little bit more. So that's a good thing. I think that's it. I think that's all we need to do. So like I said, I need to straighten the wheel back up. And once I straighten the wheel back up, I'm going to come back to y'all. And we're going to throw this wheel back on. So maybe this is going to be a longer video because I'm trying to make it a little longer in like 10 minutes. So yeah, let me turn the wheel back straight and I'm going to come back to y'all. All right, as y'all can see, we got the we got the caliber and stuff back straight. So let's go ahead and throw this wheel back on. Not gonna lie to y'all, I done seen this this specific stock wheel on like a couple older Corvettes. And if I can get that centerpiece that I have, if I can get that centerpiece that I have on here, this stock wheel will look a whole lot better, bro. I promise. But I can't, I don't know how to get it on. Cause I tried to just push it on with the lugs on there. That wouldn't work. And I tried to take the lugs off and put it on there. Wouldn't work. I, I don't know how it's supposed to go. So yeah, if y'all y'all know how to put that centerpiece, it's a like a chrome, big chrome centerpiece that go in here. I don't I don't know how to do it. If y'all know how to put it on, please let me know so I can put them on. Cause we're gonna we're gonna be riding these for a little minute until I can finally get some tires. Cause right now I can't afford the tires. When I'm also trying to get these parts for the Cutlass. So yeah, that's that's one thing we need to figure out. Well, I need to figure out, I mean, because I know some of y'all might know how. I don't know if some of y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about, but it, this stock wheel is on a lot of older Corvettes. And they got this little chrome, and it's shaped like this, but it's a little big. Maybe I can go grab one. Oh, yeah, I forgot it's up in the air. <coughs> Forgot the wheel was up in the air and not touching the ground. Tell y'all where my mind be sometimes. And I don't know, I got power tools in my charger, which my charger is right here with me. But I like doing everything more by hand than just keep using power tools. I don't know, that's just me though. I like doing stuff by hand so I know how tight it is and all that stuff, you feel me? how tight, how loose, all that type stuff. So I'd rather do this stuff more by hand than rely on the power machine. Cause sometimes the battery will die. Then I don't have charges to the power tools. Cause my pops do, so I just drop them off to him, he charge them and he give me a different one to use. So I'm basically just going and replacing them like I'm at a store or something. So yeah, I, I'd rather do this by hand. Now the next video, I don't know if it's going to be me putting the spring knuckles on so we put the wheels on for the cutlass or if it's going to be me trying to replace all the speakers in that car so we can have full music instead of just playing on one speaker. Turn that straight so it'll be easier. Do a start pattern once I lower it down just a little. It's real nice and slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, be careful. All right, just a little bit. So you can go ahead and tighten them. Uh, one. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, four. up so I can get that out the way and then we let the car the rest of the way down make sure it don't fall there we go and just like that 
the car is now even bro look at it and this is me holding the camera straight too and the car is now even again that's what i like to see got my knuckles in y'all can see both of them sort of but yep we got the knuckles in and they're the same on both sides now one in front one right here by the wheel one right here by the wheel oh y'all can see my hand and the other one's right here and you can see it yep just like that man got my car back even and now i do want to let the air out the back out the back of the car out of the air shocks so it'll have like a little lean down to it which it kind of do already y'all can't really tell on camera in person to do but yeah y'all hit that like button for me and i'm gonna catch on a second for the outro i'm gonna put up these tubes y'all like i was saying before man hit that like button for me please um i do want to say putting that one spring knuckle on to make it even on look to make it even on both sides you feel me it just made the car look a lot better and stand a lot better so y'all the picture i just took of the car because I, I like I, I love box chevys and the fact that i got one i'm i'm happy i'm proud all that type of stuff you feel me but bro look at that look at the stance on the car the car looks so good right now i'm, I'm just loving it now it ain't uneven y'all could see right there in the picture how even the car looks now just because of that one spring knuckle you feel me that one spring knuckle made the car lean feel different you feel me not ride the same but now we got the spring knuckle back on now we got the car standing right that's what i wanted now i'm just waiting on my 26s bro once i put them 26s on the car the car's gonna lift up a lot more because you feel me the wheel bigger so it's gonna have a bigger wheel bigger stand on it and i don't know if y'all can tell now but it i feel it a little bit more the car's leaning back because i got i got a little bit of air out of the air shock but not all of it is still still a lot of air in it but i need to let it all the way out so it can lean all the way down kind of like a low rider you feel me with hydraulics when they put the front up and lead it back down that's how that's how it feels and i, I like a lot of box chevys like that with the wheel tucking in the wheel well and got big lips on it i do now i do want to talk to y'all about this because i have an extra rear end for the caprice well actually my dad do but yeah like i said we we got an extra rear end for a caprice that we pulled off at a junkyard years ago now i could try to do a rear end short on that one and try to do it myself but the thing is i don't know how to weld so that's one thing i do want to teach myself i want to get a welding machine which we have one but we I think we have a tack weld machine. I think that's what it's called, tack weld machine. So we have a small weld, which, weld machine. And I wanna practice using that on probably like some of his old trailers or something, like some old metal we have. I wanna practice doing metal work so that way we can get the real welding machine that we need. And I can try to do a rear end shorten on that one. But like I said, I don't know. I know I'm gonna have to do, get, do a frame notch on it and do a, do the rear end shortening but like i said i don't know how to do it but i do want to practice on that that caprice rear end and see if i can cut out some and do the rear end shortening and then but then i'm gonna have to know how to do a frame notch so I, I don't know maybe i could practice it on just that rear end maybe i just don't do it but i do want to get my rear end shortened on here so i can put big lip on the back of the car when we start making a little more money you feel me so i can get a bigger set of work i want to go 28s on her that want to be that's my end goal i want to get 28s on her that way i can have a big lip on the back custom 28s so i mean to say so i can have a big lip on the back a nice size lip on the front and then we can ride like that and then on the cutlass i want to have 20 26s but for now we're just gonna have the 24s i want to end up getting it lifted a little more um change the suspension like qa1 or something but I don't know. Like that's gonna be later on down the line, cause I can't afford none of that stuff right now. But later on down the line, we will be doing all that stuff. But like I said, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all stay tuned for everything we have to come with these cars. It's a lot we still need to do. A, a lot we still have to do. And yeah, y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to all the way. Y'all be notified every time I drop. We got the car standing right. That was our main goal. That's what we needed. So the car standing right now looking really good I'm, I'm like i said I, I love this car so much and i just can't wait to get the wheels on here 
but before we get wheels on here we will have the wheels on the cutlass before i know that for sure but then again i could resell them wheels for a little bit more now since they're gonna be fixed and they got all four new tires i just don't have the center caps that's the only bad thing i don't have center caps but it'll be all right on my having not having center caps but yeah that's another con conversation for another day i don't know if i'm gonna go work on the cutlass now or if i'm gonna wait it ain't hot but it's it ain't supposed to get hot either today it's, i think the highest like 88 87 today but like I said, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's going to be it for this one. Catch y'all in the next one.